Okay, Backwires was kind enough to publish me. So this is my Backwires book. I like to read a couple from there. Uh, I grew up in Plattsmouth. So this is to tell you all how to get there. <laughs> how to get to Plattsmouth. It's there, smack dab in the Midwest, where the Platte and the Missouri meet and kiss and keep on moving, chugging to the Mississippi. It's high on hills that are hard to climb in winter, ice covered, cars and shoes sliding backward, oak and acorn covered, older than Omaha, an old river town. My brother says I can't remember this, but I do. President Truman stood on the balcony of a caboose there. My mother said, that's the president. Um, stopped for a few couple of minutes after the war was over. The floodwaters would raise their hips in spring, daring to sashay to the end of Main Street, almost all the way up to the meat lockers once. More bars per capita than any other little town in the 40s. <laughs> Lots of hot rods zooming around the A.N.W. Luther stand. The high school was on top of the hill with funny old teachers. Margaret Cruzy, who taught geometry and English, Kleenex stuffed in her low-cut dress, <laughs> spraying saliva on the students in the front row, Cecil Comstock, hand palm up on his shoulder, reciting Joyce Kilmer's <coughs> The coach we called Possum and paint, painted swastikas on his history room door. South of Offutt Air Force Base, Strategic Air Command, Ground Zero in the 50s. A special command center underground where the war would be fought in case of nuclear attack. Safe enough for a young girl to walk home at night after a ball game, a dance. My father said, if anyone grabbed me, they'd let me go at the first street light. <laughs> <laughs> it's still there. 20 miles south of Omaha, around Dead Man's Curve, past what used to be Merritt's Beach. You come in on the highway next to the cemetery where my great-grandparents, Czechoslovakian grandparents, uncle and aunts, mother and father, and one cousin my age remain. Silent lookouts, cherishing plasmas fragments in their crumbling, letting go. Oh.